Hi friends, this is Ms. Guerrero. Today we'll be reading Little Biographies of Big People, Cesar Chavez, written by John Stoltman. A Hard Childhood Cesar Chavez was born to Mexican-American parents in 1927. His parents own a farm and store, but when he turned 11, everything changed. Cesar's family, like many families, lost their land because of the Great Depression. Cesar and his family became migrant workers, which meant they moved from town to town for farm work. They worked every day from 3 a.m. to sunset. There weren't bathrooms, rest breaks, or even clean drinking water. They were paid little. Cesar's back hurt from bending over all day to pick up fruits and vegetables. Families like Cesar's lived in shacks, tents, cars, or on the ground. They had no heat or running water. There were no laws keeping workers safe, so farmers could treat them badly. Time for change. Cesar's childhood showed him much change was needed. As a young man, he read books by peacemakers like Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., and St. Francis of Assis. From these peaceful men, he learned that change was possible. In 1962, Cesar started a union to fight to better pay and conditions for migrant workers. To get workers to understand how a union will help them, he became a migrant worker again. That way they could talk while they worked. What did his union do? Cesar's union only used peaceful methods to speak out. They planned marches and protests holding up signs about the changes they wanted. Cesar taught them to stand their ground and never turn to violence or yelling. He was jailed many times for his work. Cesar's union planned strikes and boycotts, which cost growers money. In a strike, workers refuse to work until changes are made. During boycotts, many people joined the cause by refusing to buy certain foods until workers were treated better. Giving all he had, Cesar even went on hunger strikes several times. He lived by the words, Si se puede. This is Spanish for yes, it can be done. When he died in 1993, over 40,000 people marched to show their respects for this peaceful leader. Cesar's work led directly to laws helping migrant workers. He also changed lives in factories, stores, and other jobs. He showed workers everywhere how to make their voices heard. The world is a better place because of Cesar Chavez. And that was the end of this book, friends. Thank you for reading and learning with me. I'll see you guys next time.